And then y'all blood Lord willing, I'm one of those men. That's right, brother. That's right. Verse 11. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. There is a reward for the righteous, man. What's that reward going back to Psalms? Is the heathen for an inheritance, man. That's right, brother. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. He is a power that judges in the earth, man. Yahweh Bashimi Hawashi is the power to be feared, man. That's uh, right, man. He's the true power. Not, not his name isn't God. Yahweh Shai's name isn't Jesus. Not no Buddha. Not no God, not no damn uh not no damn uh Horus. The Book of the Dead, Metzinetta, all that bull crap is gonna be completely destroyed. It's gonna be gone, gone man. When you Yahweh, when you Yahweh Shah comes back, when the, when you Yahweh sends Yahweh Shah back. That's uh, right. say so. It tells you in the scriptures, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. For all these people who had done treacherously against us, man, they're gonna be the ones that are gonna fall into the hands of the Lord, man. They're gonna be in fear while it while it happens, man. Like, and I believe it's um, what is it, Wisdom of Solomon? Um, uh, is it the thirteenth chapter where it talks about the um, premonitions and everything that happened in Egypt, man? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. That's the thirteenth chapter, right? They literally died from fear, man. They saw apparitions of ghosts. They saw anything other. Than, it looked like a scary movie, man. It was so dark. They God. couldn't even see their own hand, bro. God, yeah, it was gonna crack them back. God, brother. Hold on, God. Front, right? Yeah, Baba Gasol, please, please bring that out, man. People died of fear, man. How bad do you think it's gonna get over here, man? It's gonna be worse, man, because this is Sodom 2.0, Rome 2.0. All those wicked nations piled up into one ball, call a melting pot, which is called America, man. That's why it's gonna get the worst judgment ever known possibly, because this is the worst kingdom ever known in the nation, in, in, in the universe, man. This is the worst place ever to be at, man. And if you a nigga, Latino, Native American, talking about America, this America, the great America's a great country. Fuck you too, man. That's right. You need to die. That's right. Because you a coon, spick, Uncle Tomahawk, Sambo, whatever it is, man. Death needs to be brought to you, man. Okay, real quick here. This is Revelations 11 and 8. And this is going into this, how this is Sodom, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. Uh, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of, that, of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So this is the great city. That is talking about, man. That's right. This is the spiritual city that is talking about in Revelations 11 and 8. That spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, that spiritually Egypt, that spiritually Rome, that spiritually Babylon, that spiritually Assyria. <laughs> this is that great city, man. And it says the city where the Lord, where the Lord was crucified. The Lord wasn't crucified in America. We know that. But you know how he was crucified? This is how the Lord was crucified in America, man. By putting up this this cracker here, man. This faggot. This ain't the Lord, man. This was a real man that walked the earth named Cesare Borgia, man. A real man, the son of Pope Alexander VI, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's Pope Alexander VI. This is how this is how he was crucified, man. Following after this man saying that you can you can love everybody. Homosexual homosexuals are allowed in the kingdom of heaven. This is what he's allowed. Wasn't slave ship, wasn't that slave ship called Jesus? Yeah, good yeah. ship Jesus. Good ship Jesus. I mean, good ship Jesus. I mean, come on now. So this 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 land has to go. This land has to be destroyed by nuclear fire. That's right. That's the only way that it will be cleansed is by the blood of him that shed it. All right. Real quick, I'm gonna get my last scripture real quick. This is this is the only way, man. Nuclear fire has to come to this place, man. Isaiah, or uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. When the heavens, no, you don't gotta get it, but the heavens is gonna pass away, man, with a great noise. And how is that great noise gonna happen? It's by thermal nuclear missiles, which is gonna hit America. Boom. Right. Very, very soon. Boom. Boom. And that's what's gonna happen. I'm sorry, but it's like boom, boom, boom. Thermal nuclear missiles, martial law, famine, death, and destruction is coming to America, man. That's right. Believe it or not. That's according right. to the Bible. So if you're a Christian, you should be with it, man. Come on, okay. But this place is wicked as hell. That's right, brother. Isaiah 33 and 1. Woe to thee that spoilest. Woe to thee that spoilest, man. You damn white people, so-called white people, man. You eat them, Mike. Woe to thee that spoilest, right? Keep going. And thou wast not spoiled. Uh-huh. And dealest treacherously. <laughs> and you dealest treacherously, man. 
And y'all deal treacherously time. today, man. <laughs> That's right. With yeah, the damn music, it. with the media, with your witchcraft, with your witchcraft, uh, witchcraft, putting spells on the people. And you damn niggas is all caught up in that shit. That's man. right, man. That's right. Y'all think it's cool to mock the men of the Lord? Hey, it's cool, man. That's right. They did it to all the prophets, man. But the Lord is gonna mock you in this day of calamity, man. That's Best right. believe that, man. That's right. right. Can't wait till Donald Trump become president and kill you motherfuckers <laughs> off, man. That's right. See the Edomite in Chicago got beat up. He's so dead. He's so dead. Got his ass kicked. Yeah, they had to they had to cancel the rally. Yeah, man. People people want to scoff, man. Y'all want to scoff and talk and laugh. It's all it's all good. According to Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord gonna laugh when you get cut in half. That's right. The Lord gonna laugh when you get your head knocked off. That's right. The Lord's gonna laugh when you get ran over by a Mack truck, man. That's right. When your little baby get get hit by a truck walking across the street trying to chase a fucking ball, man. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's the Lord's doing, man. That's right. If I'm Issachar, I wouldn't be laughing right now, like I said earlier, because the Lord is really bringing it hard on Issachar right now. That's right. All the northern tribes. Yeah. He's bringing it hard. Yeah, calm, man. Calm. Was there any more in that verse? Calm. And they deal not treacherously with thee. Uh -huh. When thou shalt cease to spoil. When thou shalt stop to spoil. Cease means to stop, which we all, you know, you didn't know, now you know. All right? <laughs> Thou yeah. shalt be spoiled. Thou shalt be spoiled, man. Mm. So when Ooh. you cease to stop, when you man. cease to spoil, you're gonna be spoiled, man. Keep going, bro. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, uh -huh. they shall deal treacherously they with you. They shall deal treacherously with you, man. <laughs> by putting you in slavery, by beating your backs in. Now I'm gonna get one more scripture and I'm it. done. Yeah, Keep going, brother. Yeah, All right, go ahead. You got Habakkuk. Oh, man. So Revelation 13. Let's get it, man. This is Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm going to um, start at verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Right, man. Esau's soul ain't upright in him, man. Esau's soul ain't upright, man, if you passing homosexual laws, man. His soul isn't upright if you're getting the, uh, uh, what is it, the LGBT uh, rights, you know? <laughs> woe to him that uh, woe to him that decree wicked decrees, man. Right, destruction to you if you pass in wicked law. That's not according to the ways of, of the ways of old, man. That's right. But the just shall live by his faith. The just are gonna live by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah's faith, man. By the faith that we have in him, man. That's right. That's how we gonna live in this world. That's how we gonna navigate. All right. Yay. Also, because he transgresseth by wine, he, is, he transgresseth by wine, by his philosophies, by his different doctrines, yep. by his ways of life. Do what thou wilt, all right? He is a proud man. He is a proud man. Look at Donald Trump, man. Proud as hell, man. And that's how all the rest of you so called white people are, man. Proud as hell. And he should be. He's in rulership. That's yeah. right. Yeah. This is your kingdom, man. That's so right. You're going to be proud, but what's going to happen when you're proud? Pride coming for destruction. That's, That's right. right. Neither keepeth at home. Who yeah. enlargeth his desire is hell. Go back to neither keepeth. Read, or read that verse from the top. God, God. This is Habakkuk, verse 2, verse 5. Uh -huh. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, uh -huh. he is a proud man. Right. Neither keepeth at home. And neither keepeth at home, man. That's why you got America in all these different countries mm -hmm. trying to take over. You got them in Syria, Libya, Iraq, North, North Korea. So let's lock it. South Korea, and probably in North Korea too. Mm -hmm. Everywhere across the world, man, trying to destroy, trying to take oil, resources. Resources. Come, look at it. Who with larger his desire is hell, uh -huh. and is as death. It cannot be satisfied. Right. So the so-called white man can't be satisfied at the end of the day, man. Mm -hmm. He's not satisfied. That's right, brother. At all. He ain't satisfied for what he got. He got a, he got a spirit on more and more and more. I need more. I need more. That's why they that's why they promote consumption in this place, man. That's a, McDonald's, like it's written over diet. You know what I mean? With the grape gatherer, not gather enough till he have enough grapes. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's his mentality, man. Right. Hungry while <laughs> wait. <laughs> yeah. That's a few one. verses on this. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, right. Really, if you want to hear this, but this is a few verses on this. One. This is Proverbs chapter six, verse sixteen. Wow. These six things do it the Lord hate. Uh -huh. Yea, seven are, are an abomination unto him. So FYI, the Lord does hate, all right? If you guys didn't know, the Bible says the Lord hates, all right? 
17. A proud look. A proud look. All right. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. And hands that shed innocent blood. And hands that shed innocent blood. And a heart that devises devises wicked imagination. A heart that devises wicked imagination. It's a wicked imagination to say that a transsexual can have rights. That's done, brother. It's a wicked imagination to say a homosexual can have rights. That's right, brother. Yeah. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Feet that be swift running to mischief, man. Your feet are swift to do some wickedness, man. Uh. <laughs> A false, a false witness that speaketh lies. A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discourse among brethren. And he that soweth discourse among brethren, man. Learning about the flat earth soweth discourse among brethren. Mm -hmm. Even a, and it's lots of examples, man. You sow discourse among the brethren when back, back when you was Esau, really, really Esau. You wanted to kill us, man, according to the scriptures. And that's what you're trying to do today, man, because it's, it's, in, it's in your blood. It's like with Cain and Abel. Yeah, it's the same thing. God. Cain and Abel is the same thing. Jacob and Esau. Mm -hmm. We're not we're, we're not going to get along, man. We just don't vibe. That's why the slave. That's why this. I mean, the Lord's the one that sanctioned the slave, the, uh, all the slavery. But who was the one doing it to you, man? Mm -hmm. Chiefly the so-called white man. And you say we two different people. In Genesis, it tells it, it clearly tells you in Genesis that there are two manner of people. Two different people, God, brother. We are not the same. We have it's two types of mannerism, man, between Jake and Esau, man. Yeah. God. Totally two different people. Maybe you get along in the room. What, what is it? Said two manner of people. That's different. That's, that's two different people. They did like a little, but, but I, first, I loosened it. This is Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm going to go back to verse 5. Just the whole thing. Habakkuk chapter 2 and 5. Yay. Also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell, it is as death, it cannot be satisfied. Uh -huh. But gathers unto him all nations. Uh -huh. Gather unto him all nations. And heapeth unto him all people. And heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against them? So all these other nations are going to take up a parable against Esau, man. All right? They're going to come up like, man, you know what, man? We're not, we're not going to be dealing with Esau no more. <laughs> Look, we're stopping. We're not going to deal with him no more. All right? Keep going. And I talked. If I can say this real quick, mm -hmm. a lot of that has already happened. For example, you had what's the guy with Iraq, uh, uh, Saddam Hussein. Yeah. He came up against, uh, you know, the so-called white man system, the elites, the Rothschilds. What happened with Saddam Hussein? Like he did the gun sign, they got his ass out of there. Uh, the guy from Libya, I forget his uh, Gaddafi. Name. Omar Gaddafi. Same thing with him. They all wanted to go away from using uh, uh, the dollar. The dollar. So what had to happen to it? But, the, but all the other nations are saying the same thing. Man, fuck this shit, man. We want to do something different. Because we constantly lose. Every, we're constantly losing. This dollar is killing our whole economy. So if you read that part one more time. Kind, brother. Uh, verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against them? And a taunting proverb against them? And say woe to him that he... Go up a little bit more. Oh, to verse, to verse 5? Yeah. Okay, kind. Uh, and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. So all these other nations, they're saying the same thing that we're saying. They're just not wording it how we're, we're putting it out there in the truth. But you have North Korea, what's North Korea saying? Y'all keep fucking around with us, we're gonna send a missile over there. What's Iran saying? Y'all keep fucking around, we're gonna send a missile over there. What's Russia saying? All these nations are saying the same thing. Yeah. They're tired of this system. That's right. They're tired of, of the way things are going. But guess what? We got you back. We're going to take care of the whole thing. That's right. Through the spirit of how about some y'all a shot. Yeah. The elect of this uh, of the nation on this side, we're going to take care of it. So don't Iran, don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. Yeah. Russia, we got it. All we got to do is be patient and wait on, on your house shot. I'm going to write you. Yeah. Verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against them and a taunting proverb against them and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? And that's all that's going on. That oil that's in the Middle East, that is not your oil. That's right. Whose oil is it? It's anybody's but yours. Yep. But what did you do? You snuck, snaked your way in there 
and now you got a, a military base in Iraq, one of the biggest uh, military bases in the world. That's right. Over in Iraq. Yep. You got other bases all over that region, but you, that's not your land. Yeah. So all this stuff is going to be heaped right back on top of your head. That's right. Go ahead. I'm going to read that part again. Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. How long? That's that's very important. Can I get one precept? Oh, kind of Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 8. Read that part one more time. Come on, brother. Woe unto him that increases that which is not his. How long? How long? Now, what, what, what the scripture says, how long? How long is this going to be like this? Well, let us tell you. The end is here. Yep. How do we know the end is here? Because the scriptures will tell you yep. to measure the time. Mm -hmm. When you read uh, the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 9, verse 1, yep. it tells you to measure the time diligently. And once you have measured the time diligently, you'll understand it. Dang. All you hear about is wars, rumors of wars, Earthquakes, diverse places, we keep going on and on. But we understand, well, damn, it's that time. Yeah. So how should you feel? This precept, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, will tell you how you should feel now that you understand. The scriptures, if you let it be, is a guideline for your life, especially to these people on this sun, especially to the elect of the people on that sun. But, but the thing is, okay, now that we got the understanding that it's that time, how should you feel? Should you be scared? Should you uh, get a passport and move to Egypt? What should we do? Go ahead and read that precept. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So now that you understand, damn, this is the end. But that's actually good. Just imagine, we was talking about this uh, uh, last Friday. Just imagine if you were going through the precepts, and you were to understand it, damn, now our nation is about to go into slavery. You would oh. be like, ah, damn, we finna be going 400 years plus yeah. of all this craziness, <laughs> right? So you would be like, man, damn, wow. this is it. But the scriptures is telling you, now that you understand, the scriptures are telling you, better is it the end than the beginning. So you understand it's the end, so how should you be, boy? And the patient in spirit is you better. Just read the whole read. Time. I mean, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So now that you know it's the end, it's like, damn, cool. We about to be up out of this thing. If these prophecies fit you, which it fits the people on this side. So now you understand, like, damn, we ain't going to be slaves forever. We, we, it's, it's our time to shine. Go ahead. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in so spirit. So now you gotta do, just be patient and let this thing play itself out. Be patient and keep yourself occupied in the scriptures. I know I said one, but let me do one more. Revelation one and three. Revelation one and three. Revelation one and three. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Now, blessed is he that read it. Now, is that reading anything? Of course not. You sit up read comic books and all that. That's dumb as hell. Blessed that he that, he that read what? These scriptures. That's right. But it's a lot of people out there that have read this book front to back and don't, you know, don't get it, don't understand it. That's right. But blessed is he that read it and understands the prophecies and understands the precepts and understand the mysteries of this thing. Go ahead. And blessed is he that readeth and hear the words of this prophecy mm -hmm. and keep those things which are written so therein. If you hear the words of the prophecies like I just talked about earlier, 2nd Ezra 9, you'll understand that, damn, it's that time. So I got to get my stuff together. Yeah. And the scriptures go on to say, well, what, what should I do? Be patient, read, get into this thing, do your best to get the understanding of the prophecies and, and hope that you can be saved. That's what you got. Be patient, because if you think you're going to do it by your weapons, you lost. Yeah. Ain't enough guns in the world to, to take care of, because even if you have a gun, they got the, uh, um, what they call the thing? Unmanned aerial assault vehicle. What you going to do with your pistol with that? Yeah, what you going to do with a B-12 bomber? What you, what you going to do with that? You can't even see it in the sky. What are you going to do? So you got to get into this thing, 
be patient and hope for the best. That's that's the only thing. God, God, and that's I'm actually spinning right off of what this brother said. Basically, just giving to the scriptures and getting ready for the end times. You got a precept? I've still had Habakkuk. Just a few more.